it feels phenomenal to be on Real Estate Disruptors for the fourth time. Um, always. Fourth? It is, I think, the fourth, or what is it, the I fifth? <laughs> What's up, Bobby? What up, though? Oh, uh, you know, get here for the Disruptors podcast, Holmes. Let's go check out Steve Trang. It's been a minute since we hung out with him. Damn, let's ring the bell for service. Hi. Hello. Of course, it's Jamil. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello. Jamil, how are you doing, bro? Nice to meet you, Aaron. Nice to meet you, Aaron. Hey, What's hey, this department? Media. 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 Ah. You can tell just looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> So before we try to go have a vlog, everyone comes through. So I'm asking some questions, kind of, kind of get to know you, your business, All things right, like that. We'll walk you through the office, and then we're gonna get into the podcast. This is for you. Thank you. I got swag. Yes, yeah, little swag back for you. I got Steve's book. Did he sign this? I don't think he I'll sign give it back to you till he does. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, I'll make sure he signs it. I'll put that on the list. Okay, okay. Oh, this guy's over here. Of course, he that is. A oh cool, yeah, that is. That is a cool. I, I need an action figure, Bobby. <laughs> okay, we'll work on. Uh, how do we get that? I, I love that he. See, I have one of these in my house. It's not number one. It's number two. He gave number one to Pace. Um, but He's Steve, Steve is the only man I know that gave himself a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do they put this in nightclubs? So like, when, like it's like, Ooh, when I get drunk, I get that mad! Was that a knockout shot or what? All right, All right where to? We're going to this side now. Okay. So this is the classroom. So this is where he does all the sales trainings, um, any sales leadership, any of the calls. In, Love oh it. Gosh, live trainings all happen in here. Cool. And then over here, I have my famous wall of fame that I make every guest sign. Okay. So I'm gonna make you sign it too. All right. Uh, you can put anything you want, name, Instagram. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I always ask people when they put something up there, Wholesale Genie, where'd you get that from and why Wholesale Genie? I mean, I'm the Wholesale Genie. If you don't know why, check it out. That's on your homework to do. I can't argue with that one. I'm the, host, I'm the wholesale genie, homie. I make your wholesale dreams come true. Damn. Steve came a long way from the old spot that we did our... This is my fourth time here, right? Yeah. Steve came a long way from the first three episodes we For did For real, together. that doesn't even look real, dude. That looks so good. It's cool, right? So you got a whole TV studio in there. So come in here. It's the studio. And this is where all the magic happens. So everything Love that happens it. in here goes out right into the control room, and then we push out on the media side. Beautiful. This is so cool. Really neat. Man, Steve, you, you made it, homie. You made it. Look at this. Look at this place. It's beautiful. It's really neat when you watch somebody evolve from just starting to put out content and, and bootstrap it and put it together and just say, hey, you know, it doesn't need to be this. It doesn't need to start here. Mm -hmm. Who, and this is where I think a lot of people get stuck. They think they got to start here. And that's not what's up. That's a, that, this, this didn't grow, Steve. Thanks. Steve grew from a place he rented out hourly. And then he kept consistent, he kept doing it, and now look at it, now it's a TV studio. Congrats. Man, I just had a pretty dope ass interview with uh, Steve's, Steve's guy here. Um, that was, uh, you know, I got to open up about a lot of history and, and past that I had really hadn't paid attention to in a minute. And uh, it felt good, it felt good reminiscing and, and kind of retracing back how we got here today. And uh, what a ride. What a ride. Great. How does it feel, Jamil? I'll tell you what, it feels it feels phenomenal to be on Real Estate Disruptors for the fourth time. Um, always. Fourth? Is, I think, the fourth, or what is it, the I fifth? Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay, it's not important to you. I get it. I get it. No, come on. Of course, <laughs> of course it's important to me. We just posted on the story that it's the fourth. Uh, yeah, but, but, but the facts are, though, it's the fifth time, I guess. Um, I, I was saying earlier in the interviews that I was doing that Disruptors was one of these, you know, instrumental parts of my journey like it popped me off on social media nobody knew who the hell I was you know they didn't they didn't know me and just until Steve put me on and put me on disruptors it was great he actually helped us launch Pace and Jamil do America and um, that wouldn't have gotten known if Pace, if Steve hadn't put us on that podcast and he was really the the first guy who really did it big and continues to do it big in the space and I, I'm grateful I'm grateful to be here bro I'm super grateful to have you here it's always fun I put it out there, you know, you got the butterflies, like, you know, I'm going to ask her out, will she, will she say yes, you know? Dude. It's like, hey, <laughs> someone asked Jamil will come back on the show. I was like, I hope he says yes. Of course I will. <laughs> and that, listen, that Steve, if you had to describe Jamil in one word, what would it be? One word? Man, there's so many different words. I would say it's um, positivity. I know that we all have our challenges, 
right? We all have our, our struggles. Childhood trauma, you and I haven't talked about this a lot, but you know, since, um, uh, since you and I had like a ton of, ton of conversations, I've learned how much childhood trauma impacts us. Oh, yeah. And how much it really like is ingrained it. into our wiring, right? Like we spend our first eight to 10 years getting traumatized and the rest of our lives undoing that trauma, <laughs> right? It's so real though, dude, right? It's so real, yeah. Yeah, so, but I say positivity because uh, you are the embodiment, right? Our uh, of positivity. Uh, that you were signed this. He said. I said I didn't want it unless uh, Steve signed, signed it. it. All right, all right. Don't sell this. I won't. There you go. Thank you, bro. Thank yeah. you. That you cannot good. sign it. That feels good. It's gonna be null and void. The signature is null and void to be that solid. That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, honestly, I stole the checkbook and all I wanted was, a, a, was something to trace. So I got it. Uh, so Bigger Pockets gave me the opportunity to write the wholesaling book. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's a, you can pre-order it right now. I'd love it if you did. Biggerpockets.com slash wholesale book. Check it out. There you go. Perfect. Biggerpockets.com slash wholesale book. Thank you so much. Always oh, a great. pleasure, my friend. You too, man. Thank you for having me back. See you guys later. Peace. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Great questions. That was so fun. Steve, um, love you, bro. Thanks for having me back. For sure. For sure. Uh, your OG homie, man, and uh, I appreciate that. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for letting me dive into deep shit. Nobody lets me talk about stuff like that. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's you know they want to know about agent outreach. They want to know about this. Good. They want to know about that. But I got to talk about stuff that I actually care about. So that was fun. Cool, cool. Can we do a quick photo? Cool. It takes 15 years to get to this. Level. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Steve. Yeah. Bobby, let's go. Right. I feel like I just had one of the most enlightening interviews I've ever been able to have with someone. Um, just getting able to talk philosophy, life, wholesaling. How does that all mix up? Well, watch the episode, because if you didn't, you're going to miss out. Now, Bobby, let's go do a live. Okay, what's up, YouTube? It's Bobby Two Hands. I've never been in a Jamil video, but uh, here we go. So he left the place that we were just at, the Real Estate Disruptors podcast. He killed it. That shit was rad. Um, and now I'm going to show you his house and then sneak in. He was He's doing a live right now calling uh, calling agents, doing agent outreach in one hour. Ready? Here we go. Look at this place. And then where's Henry at? He's got a new puppy named Henry. There's Henry. Hey, dude. You're in the vlog, dude. All right, let's go see what Jamil's up to. So if you're worried that I'm going to go around you to the seller, I, I don't work that way. I'm not that kind of person. Happy to sign an exclusive, uh, a property-specific buyer-broker agreement, but I can't sign an exclusive buyer broker agreement with you that's going to be for a specific amount of time because that would be unfair to the people that i'm already working with right so that's the explanation that's how you get out of that trap there now typically if if i know it's an investor friendly title company it's it's not problematic but it's rare it's rare that are happening here i don't understand i i'm confused and they call the realtor excuse me i don't i, I got this agreement from your buyer all right, so he's going to be on that computer for the rest of the night doing that live and then an astro call. And uh, yeah, he's a busy dude. So this is a brief glimpse into one hectic day. We started late, started at 1 p.m., but that's a wrap for the vlog. Um, make sure you subscribe because we're going to keep doing these all year. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me.